black swallower. They have a special ability which is to swallow fish larger than itself, specifically twice its size or 10 times its own mass. The maximum size of this fish is around 25 cm in length. Their idea of survival is to eat as much as they can, which can actually be their cause of death. The fish is known to eat fish larger than it can handle and die due to indigestion. Bobbit Worm This omnivorous sea creature dwells and likes to bury itself in the ocean bed. The longest size found of these worms was around 3 meter long, but on average, they could go up to 1 meter long and around a diameter of nearly an inch. They have 5 antennae which they use to sense their prey. They have sharp teeth and could attack in a burst of high speed which can slice its prey or even the corals in half. Yeti Crab The Yeti Crab looks similar to crabs or lobsters, but their genetic code does not fall within the boundaries of said group Thus, it's a different family of crustaceans altogether. They are named after the Polynesian god Kiwa. They live in the hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, but the female would go to cooler areas to lay eggs and would starve to death keeping its eggs safe. Also, the Kiwa hirsuta has blonde hairy legs and claws with no eyes. The hair on its body is scientifically called city, and it serves as a mobile garden for growing bacteria which they love to eat. Something like how food gets trapped in people's beard. Vampire Squid Its scientific name literally means Vampire Squid of Hell. They are found throughout the tropical and temperate oceans of the world. The squid can only grow to at most 28cm in length, and no, they don't suck blood. The only reason they are called the Vampire Squid of Hell is because of its red eyes and its mantle or cloak-like webbing connecting its tentacles reminded the one who named them of vampires. Northern Stargazer This fish must have gotten its name from how its face, which are the eyes, nostrils, yes they have nostrils, and most of its mouth are on top of its body. It would burrow into the sandy sea floor with only its eyes somewhat visible for it to see its oblivious prey. Other than the element of surprise, it can also produce an electric shock, which either be used for immobilizing its prey or as a defense mechanism. Bonus sea creature, Colossal Squid. Currently not much is known about this sea creature because not a lot of specimens were found, but scars have been observed on sperm whales which are believed to be caused by the hooks of the Colossal Squid. Even a tentacle was found inside the whale's belly. The maximum size estimated of the colossal squid is around 12 to 14 meter long and weigh around 750 kilograms. Currently, there is a specimen of a 10 meter colossal squid displayed in the National Museum of New Zealand. Tongue-eating louse Crustaceans Parasitic crustaceans They are very small and they would enter the fish through their gills and then crawl from the inside of the fish attaching itself to the fish's tongue. Well. The female would attach itself to the tongue, while the male would attach itself on the gill arches. The parasite severs the blood vessels of the fish's tongue, causing it to fall off, and then replaces the tongue with itself. Apparently, the parasite can change its sex to either male or female for the sake of reproduction. Ocean Sunfish They are called the ocean sunfish probably because of how they look like during lava stage. Just like the sun, kids always draw and of course because they like to sunbathe at the surface of the water. An adult mola mola looks like someone cut its body and sewed the head straight to its tail. On average, a mature sunfish is 1.8 meter in length and could weigh between 247 to 1000 kilograms. Though they are heavy, they are known to jump out of the water as high as 3 meters in the air and would land with a splash to get rid of parasite off its skin. So be careful, they might just land on your boat, or worse, on your head, and I'm not even joking. Harp sponge This sponge looks like the harp strings or a candelabra. The branch-like limbs has velcro-like hooks and spines that are used to ensnare their prey. Now, the harp sponges are not like typical sponges in that they can capture larger prey like some small crustaceans. First, they use their hooks to ensnare the prey, then it would secrete a digestive membrane which engulfs the prey and break it down for it to absorb through its pores. Also, those balls you see at the top? Well, those are literally balls. Balls that contain sperm. Sarcastic Fringe Head 
It's a fish with a large mouth. It's very territorial, thus very aggressive. When they fight for their territory, they would use their large mouth to intimidate and fight. Yes, the one with the most sarcastic retort wins. I'm kidding. Rather, they bash themselves mouth to mouth as if in a rough kissing spree, and the one with the bigger mouth usually wins. They live in shells or any crevices they can find, such as bottles or cans, if there's apparent pollution. And being territorial, when the female lays its eggs, the male would also be there to protect them. Dumbo Octopus I find this one looks cute because of its ear-like fins. Those ear-like fins is where the name Dumbo comes from. The fins are used to steer while swimming and even helps it to crawl along the seafloor during hunting, laying eggs, or even just exploring. Another feature they have is that their arms form a skirt-like shape around the animal's body, classifying them as an umbrella octopus. They live at the bottom of the sea in extreme depths of 3,000 to 4,000 meters below sea level.